say hi from Cherish Math. This is the problem here for today. Given here a circle with all the measurements written here, O as the center, find what is the radius of this circle. My first step in dealing with this problem is to find what is the length of this line that I'm pointing here by using this theorem that I locate on the top here. I'm going to read it out. When two chords intersect as shown, then A multiplied B equal C multiplied D. That means I'm going to apply this method by using 6 multiplied with 2 equal 3 multiplied the length of this line here that I'm going to denote with letter L. And the L that I'm going to get here is 4. The next step, I'm going to find what is the distance of this green line. And I'm going to label it as A, B. I can solve this part simply by using Pythagoras theorem. That means AB is square root of 4 square plus 6 square. And AB that I'm getting here is 2 third 13. And I'm going to find another green color length, which is here. And I'm going to label this as uh, BC. So the length of the BC is by using the Pythagoras theorem again. That is 6 square plus 3 square and square root of the whole thing. And I get here BC as 3 5. So this is 3 5. I will have to find what is the value of this angle theta that I highlighted here. And by referring to the triangle ABC inscribed in this circle, I need this cosine rule formula to find what is the value of the theta. Since I have found the three sides length of this triangle, I can simply substitute the value into this formula and we can find the theta. Now, let's do it now. 7, I got it from 4 plus 3. So it is 7 square. The value B will be this value. 2 so 13 square it up plus C will be this value 3 so 5 and square it up minus 2 and I'm going to repeat the same number over there By rearrange the expression and making cos theta the subject, this is how it looks like now. And by using your calculator, the value of the theta that we are getting here is 60.255 degrees. In the next step, let me connect the point A and the point C to the center of the circle. And here it comes. I need to find what is the value of this angle at the center of the circle. And this is exactly twice the value of the theta, which is one hundred and twenty point five one degrees 
simply use 60.255 degrees multiplied by 2 and this is the value that we are getting. I label R as the radius of the circle and this is OA and OC. And by referring to the triangle of AOC, I'm going to use the cosine rule again to solve this problem by finding the value of the R. And that turns 7 square equal R square plus R square minus 2 times R times R times cos 120.51 degrees and now I'm trying to simplify your thing 7 square is 49 R square plus R square I got R 2 R square minus 2 R square cos 120.51 degrees the value of cos 120.51 degrees, I can use calculator to find it out. Now, the final thing here that I got it is 49 equal, I'm going to solve this part and it produce 3.0154 R square. And the value of the R eventually is 4.03 that's the answer for the question today thanks for watching and please subscribe